Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Girls Tarot. I'm Denise and I'm going to be answering a bunch of yes and no questions. Uh, and I'm using the Mondoc, <laughs> Mondoc, <laughs> Lenamon. Uh, it's available on Etsy if you're interested in it. But I have pulled out almost half the deck because I'm going, I'm, I've pulled out all the cards that were maybe, you know, or neutral cards. And what I have left here are all the yes and no cards. That'll, that'll make things, uh, they'll, they'll make things go more smoothly and um, yeah, quicker. <laughs> okay, so my first question, I'm going to go through all the uh, states that, so, so one of, one of my awesome viewers, um, V Cool Water, <laughs> uh, dropped in a comment that all of the ES and S machines uh, were used in all the swing states, South Carolina, uh, you know, North Carolina, Maine, Texas, Iowa, and Montana. So I'm going to go through, and these were all states that were um, uh, landslides for Republicans, <laughs> which seems highly inaccurate. And I can't remember which state it was. Uh, there's a gal named Allison Green. Uh, with the E on the end, green with the E on the end, on Twitter. Uh, oh, it was for Mitch McConnell that he, in one one county, I think, yeah, one county, he won by 264%. <laughs> like, how is that possible? So, anyway, I already read on, on him and all that. We, we know that, that he cheated. So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to go through e each state. And we're going to find out if um, if there was cheating. So the first state is going to be South Carolina. Was there cheating in that state through these voting machines? You know, where of course they can be hacked into and then the votes changed. And these uh, ES and ES, uh, or, yeah, ES and S, ES and S machines are, of course, from China. You know, where they can have malicious code written into them already, or they can have those little microchips where things can be uh, changed. All, all, all different, well, a couple different things there could have happened. So, South Carolina, was there cheating? Yes, yes or no? South Carolina. That's a yes. But that's a no. Interesting. And there's a yes. So this, in this situation, it feels to me like there was there's it was a yes to block a change. So the way they cheated was to block a change from oh, I don't know who ran. I don't know who the senator was that ran in South Carolina. I, I didn't I didn't check any of this stuff. I just you know took the viewer question um, or comment and thought God it'd be great to look into each one of those. So whoever that was in South Carolina, it, yeah, it was changed, but it was to block from any um, or I mean, yes, there was cheating. Yes, yes, there was cheating, but it was to block any change. So that that person was that an incumbent or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know about that there. Um, but anyway, it looks like, it looks like, yes, there was cheating in uh, South Carolina. So now let's go to Maine. So in Maine, was there cheating in Maine? That's a no. And that's a no. So not in Maine. Okay. Let's try Texas. Texas. Okay. Yes. That's a yes. And that's a yes. Okay. The next one is Iowa. Iowa. Oh, God, 
See, I can't shuffle that way. Unless I just toss them, but then it kind of tears up your cards. And I really like this deck. <laughs> okay, so Iowa. Was there cheating through the voting machines in Iowa? Iowa. That's a yes. All right. Okay, the next one is North Carolina. Was there cheating in North Carolina? Yes. Okay. The next one is Montana. Montana. Yes. All right, so that's that. Okay, so let me go to my next question here. Um, this is from Alexis. Alexis Nicole. She comments really she, beautiful comments from her. Uh, so, uh, Kelly Loeffler from Georgia, traded and, traded and dumped a large amount of stocks on the market. Days before the news came up on the media about COVID-19 being real danger, will Kelly Loeffler be facing legal charges in the near future? You know, kind of like Martha Stewart, right? For insider trading, right? Um, that's what she's saying. But I'm, I'm going to put this out into because near future let's just say in the future because what if it takes like a I don't know maybe there's some delays in court I don't know let's just ask will Kelly Leffler be facing legal charges and how about let's just leave it open to anything because there could be more dirt that comes out on her she's definitely corrupt I think I mean I, I've sense into it when I hear her speak. Okay, Kelly Leffler. Will you be facing charges in the future? Yep, that's a yes. Okay, and then let's see, was there any more question there? Oh, the other ones were more legal questions that we're researching. Okay, the next one is from Bonnie. Bonnie Russell wants to know, will Biden-Harris administration, will they do anything to help seniors financially? You know, of course, with the, being on a fixed income and, and the cost of living increase, that, which is completely, you know, above and beyond the little, like, 1.7% raise that Social Security gives. Will the Biden-Harris team administration, will they do anything to help seniors financially? That's... Darn it, that's a no, but that's a yes. This card does have to do with work, though. That's a yes. And this is a no. Hmm. Let's get some... Let's, let's use... Let me use this deck here and get a better, let's look at um, what effect, let's open up the question, what effect will the Biden-Harris administration have on seniors? On seniors. Okay.
Okay, so with um, well, so with the dog, there's some loyalty, but with the broken mirror, there's loyalty. Oh, I get it. As, you know, it's so it's so amazing with the Lunamon. It's just it's a beautiful system in that you really have to read all the cards together. <laughs> Except for those yes and no questions, that, that they're going to be completely different. But I'm um, in this situation. It's like there's there's loyalty that's going to be coming from the government that helps uh, with the shattered dreams that we've been going through the last four years. I mean, truly, we have had shattered dreams, and and so this this is the institution of the government. And now with this little guy, with, you know, Cupid, this has to do with um, something short-term in this situation. I think we would call it short-term. And then with the stars, this has us in the realm of the intention and then to keep moving forward. So something, something short-term that can be, you know, kind of surprising that comes in. This is all about security and safety. The house is all about security and safety. So the Lernemont Tower, uh, government safety. And because I set the intention, and I'm sorry I didn't speak it out loud, but for this this last card here to be like you know quite an answer, this has us uh, in that realm of moving towards. So we can look at like all of these cards and can, and and read in the opposite direction. But that's that's the way Lunamon is. It's a directional system. So moving from loyalty to, you know, government, the government will be more loyal in the place where it has been broken. And, and there will be something, maybe this just happens quickly, because these two cards are all about quickly. So maybe once they're in, there is something quickly. And, and there's an intention for the movement to grow and create more safety. So over the over the years, that that could happen. And there, there's an opportunity. So maybe we have to squawk. You know, maybe we have to get on them about it. But this also could be. Because the little fox, uh, you know, without getting into his nefarious or, or things that are wrong, it, it, it is a card of work. In the, in the Lunamon, it is the card of work, but it's more like part-time work or freelance work. And this is a card of opportunities. So I think, I think the message here is that there will be a loyal, you know, like a safety net for those who want to get, you know, part-time work. So that I think they're going to be helping tremendously with the jobs market. And maybe maybe the government will create jobs that anybody can do working from home, which would help seniors. Because, you know, depending on how old you are, you, you most seniors can't do an eight-hour shift or 12 or 14 or like, like or any long, long shift that, you know, younger people can do. That was part of the limitation of being, you know, over 65 or 70. A lot of seniors don't uh, take their Social Security until 70. So... So there could be there, but I love that there's this uh, safety here. The, the house is all about safety and a, and a strong foundation. So I think that it, it looks good for over, um, you know, over the the administration over the next four years. And that something could come through quickly for the you know short term, and then and then grow and build, build on the safety net. But I do think it has to do more with like the ones that want to work and have, um, uh, you know, short-term, you know, little little gigs, or or work, you know, work at home. 
or work or work you know four, three or four hours a day or two hours a day whatever you know whatever it is um, the house card also does bring in the element of like you know food safety I uh, support when it comes to either like I said working from home or this could be like a twofold opportunity opportunity where it's like working from home jobs that you know can come in very quickly where the government will help and then also or government can create but also you know because the house card is also the card of like the body and soul this could be support for um and people that need long term, you know, this could be a, you know, a facility, a, long, a nursing home, long term facility care. There can be support that comes through that way. So I like seeing that as well. As this card, just remember, it's all about family and security and safety. This is probably one of the best cards to get for this um, topic. So, okay, so let me move on to let's see the next question let's get back our little yes no cards here and uh, let's see rosie rosie wants to know i'm um, will biden be able to give uh, stimulus checks next year with higher amounts because I don't know if we're getting a you know you know I remember reading on this a long time ago and I, and it looked like we would get one more before the end of the year but man they're really pushing it aren't they and if it goes with what the republicans want it's 600 instead of 12 and it's I don't know that there was anything in there with unemployment I mean it's just the, these these GOP, uh, you know, like Mitch McConnell, I mean, they're he's just the darkest of the dark. Dude's a friggin' little vampire. So anyway, psh, let me get out of his energy. Biden. Will Biden... Well, let's put Kamala in there. Kamala. Biden and Kamala Harris... Will they be able to give stimulus checks next year with higher amounts? Well, of course they would be able to. Let's ask, will they? Oh, but then again, if McConnell's still in there. But then again, we're asking next year. That's the whole year. So let's, let's just ask, will, will there be stimulus checks next year with higher amounts yes or no I'm trying to get an image of that one check that I did get <laughs> and these new ones need to not have Donald Trump's name on it okay so for next year so 2021 Biden and Harris stimulus checks large amount yes or no that's that's an obstacle and that's a no so let me ask because the question was larger amounts will there be Stimulus checks next year with a moderate amount, which would be, you know, something under 1200, right? That's a no. But that's, a, there's a yes there. So there's some kind of an intention and then that's that's a no wow so maybe it's going to be support in some other way 
or maybe M McConnell. And that's that's a yes card. So we have two two yes. What do we? So should, should I do three out of five? And then there's a no. So it's mixed. All right, let's do. Let's go more in depth with, of course, this little deck. And of course, you guys know it's this one, right? Okay, so let's ask. I need more room. Let's ask what the future looks like for after Biden and Harris are in. What does the future look like for? Um, support to get through the coronavirus epidemic financial support or some other means of support vouchers I don't know some other any kind of support what what are we going to see what will the United States of America see What will the United States of America receive? Oh, I forgot I have my camera up so darn high. I hope you guys can see these little images, darn it. I rec actually should have dropped it down for this reading, but Draw more cards, because this is a big topic. So, coronavirus release aid of any kind. I like this card here. That has to do with safety and security, of course. Okay, so I'm. So the man, I think, is Biden that has a goal to move something forward and something with good news that we can all celebrate. And it may come in very suddenly because he's loyal to the cause. You know, and he has a reputation for uh, for creating support. I uh, yeah, it has to do with his honor because he has spoken. He has he has spoken up as to how how firmly he believes that Americans deserve support to get through this terrible time. Bernie Sanders is also speaking up about that immensely. And I think Bernie's working to help to support uh, Joe. So so this with the stars card, this is Joe Biden and his intention and his goals, because he cares, and this could have to do with the CARES Act literally the CARES Act, because it's a document. And he's wanting to shatter and get rid of any, uh, in this situation, I'm going to call it nefarious means of abusing the CARES Act. I mean, there have been tremendous abuses, including, you know, Jared Kirshner's family getting, uh, there's just, a, it's, it's atrocious. I think there was a, an article, and I haven't gotten all the way through it because it's um, it's one of those that's so big you have to print out because of uh, you know your eyes would be burned alive <laughs> if you try reading the whole thing online. 
you know, he printed it out and it's like, you know, that thick. It's, it's, but anyway, it's like 51, um, 51 entities who have profited off of the Donald John Trump, you know, uh, administration. And it's pretty dark. I haven't made it all the way through it yet. So anyway, I think that there's he's wanting to have protection against anybody too uh, that that could misuse those those funds, and that may be why it takes quite a while for something to go through. Although I, I don't see I don't see the mountain card here as an obstacle. I don't see the snake card as any betrayal. What I am seeing is that Joe has the intention and the goal to work with the CARES Act and get it moving forward and that we may have something to celebrate but this could also be you know him working against uh, anybody that has misused um, <clears throat> the um, you know the CARES Act in the past or the excuse me <coughs> the PPP loans because that's been shocking that has been very very shocking people getting grants you know things like that it's, it's well entities getting grants when they were businesses that were going under anyway or businesses that did do nothing to help it's just their own personal little you know whatever You know, to to get a big loan like that, like to get a to get a PPP loan and not have any employees, there's uh, makes you wonder about that. <clears throat> but he's, <coughs> excuse me, loyal to his reputation. He's going to be loyal to his followers. Hold on, I need water. <clears throat> and he, yeah, he he really cares about his honor there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and he cares about it. So his reputation is about our safety. And I think that that's what we can count on. So I, how it's going to actually play out, the only thing I can see is that he's going to work with that CARES Act, I believe. So, okay, well, that's, that's all I have. And that's all the yes and no questions. I hope this has been helpful. And of course, we can read on. I can I can always read on, um, you know, anything that comes up further when it comes to um, stimulus payments. But it doesn't look good so far, honestly. You know, in, in, until um, until until Joe and Kamala are in, or Kamala, I'm sorry, Joe and Kamala are in. Okay, all right. Thanks, you guys. Bye.